Hello, and welcome to a grab and go opportunity presented by me, Christine, the teen librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, we are making mermaid bark. The materials you will need for today are a piece of parchment paper, microwave safe containers, white candy melts, purple candy melts, teal candy melts, gold chocolate pearls, sprinkles, a toothpick or a fork, and a microwave. Let's get started. We're going to be microwaving our candy melts in our microwavable dishes. You have about two ounces of each color. And it is advised to microwave these in short bursts of around 30 seconds each. Here we are after 30 seconds. Let's see. We have some movement, but I don't think they're ready yet. Oh, there we go. Everyone's microwave is different, so be sure to only microwave in small bursts at half power if possible. I'll give the blues just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to take our sheet of parchment paper and lay down lines of this, or more like blocks, really. There's all my colors blobbed on. If you have a spatula, I'd recommend using it. I'm going to trace patterns through this with my toothpick to get some wavy lines. I'll try and spread it thinner, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that gives me blurred colors. Maybe not. There we go. There's my mermaid bark base. Now I'm going to add these chocolate pearls to it. And some silver glitter sugar. Fantastic! Now it's time to put this in the freezer for about 10 minutes until it's hardened. All right, this is fresh out of the freezer and you can tell it is done because it just slid right off that parchment paper. We are going to give it a nice crack. Oh, that was really nice. And break it into little bite-sized pieces. So there you go. Here is a lovely bite of mermaid candy bark. If you have enjoyed this activity, be sure to return to the library for more grab and goes, engage with us on social media, and enjoy your summer!